Yeah. Well, in the end, the result is, is no disgrace if you turn us to Man City. Were you happy overall with the way the team played? Yeah, I, th I think we we were very disappointed in the 4 0 game up at uh, City Academy. And we wanted to make sure we improved on that and, and we came off the pitch. Uh, Satisfied with performance, and I, th I think we were. Uh, I don't think the players, it's an old cliche, but not leaving anything on the pitch, but I don't think the players did leave anything on the pitch. And, you know, we were in the game up until the 88th minute, uh, and, and we said that that's all we could really ask for was to stay in the game. Uh, you know, at 0 0, at 1 0, you're, you're always in the game up until the last minute, and just disappointing that we conceded the goals in the manner that we did, actually. Uh, a bit disappointed in the goals coming for two crosses, but. Uh, I thought over the 90 minutes we were, we were fairly satisfied with how we, uh, how we got on. They didn't get very many chances against you, did you? And that, that must please you, uh, how solid the defence stayed up. Yeah, we, we changed our back three today and uh, and the gamble was that they could really stretch us and, and get behind us, but I thought we managed managed the game uh, defensively, middle to front quite well, uh, and, and it restricted it restricted them opening up. Opening, opening us up as much as they could have, uh, and, and limiting their chances. And uh, yeah, Sophie did well, but you know, I don't, she's probably had a lot busier days. So from from that point of view, yeah, we're happy. You weren't just playing a top team; you were playing the conditions as well. They were really difficult out there, and on artificial surface, probably made it even worse. In that strong way. Yeah, I don't think it helped either team. Did it very, very quick. Uh, the surface combined with the wind and the rain. Yeah, it was it was a very high tempo match. Uh, but it, it, is, it is what it is. I don't think either team probably enjoyed it, but I think both teams tried to cope with it the best they could. Uh, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, people saw an entertaining game. Uh, that's all we can do is try and put an entertaining game on, and, and we probably did that. But yeah, conditions were tough. Well, I suppose, given the way the results started in the group, I suppose you'd have taken the defeat to Man City in the quarterfinals a few weeks ago, wouldn't you? Yeah, I think so. First and foremost, the. the our target was we have to qualify for the for the knockout stages. You know, we, we felt we had to do that. It wasn't a case of we'd like to, uh, and we got off to a sticky start, obviously, uh, away to Tottenham. But the girls showed great character to, to win the last two games when they were under real pressure to do so. So we achieved their aim, and then obviously the luck of the draw, you get uh, you get Man City, uh, and and listen, they're one of the best teams in the world. You know, this is one of the most competitive leagues in the world now, and they're one of the favourites of the Champions League. So that's a top, top team, and, and we need to, we can't lose sight of that. But at the same time, we can't just accept it. Uh, we still want to strive to be as good as we can be, and uh, and I, th I thought we showed that that we can compete in our own way today. You're now going into the, the holiday break, of course. You get a few weeks to sort of assess the way the season's going so far. Would you say that it's, it's been going as well as you yeah. had hoped? I think I think it's, it's not been far off what we hoped for. Uh, there's been some fantastic performances, a couple of good results, uh, and there's been some really disappointing performances and, and disappointing results. So that's probably the way we expected it with such a young squad and and our training philosophy and and, and the periodised training plan was we're probably where where we expected to be. We're really looking forward to the second half of the season. Uh, it's a big second half of the season for us with with a lot of winnable games. Uh, you know we've got we've played five games, we've been at Chelsea, Arsenal, Man City away from home. <laughs> so mm. the, you know, the four points total from the five games might not sound great, but it's, it's probably realistic considering the fixtures that we were handed. So the second half of the season's hopefully going to be an exciting one and, and lots of points on the board to take. And the second half starts off with a home game against Everton. They've obviously picked up a lot recently. That's some good results, but it's a, it's a team you know an awful lot about and. Uh, I suppose Millie Turner are you looking forward to that for a start? I think everybody's looking forward to it, but obviously Millie's you know, got her own reasons for, for looking forward to it. She was at Everton and, and she, she feels she made a, a good move by coming here. We think she's made a good move and, and uh, it's a game that everybody's looking forward to. Both teams know each other very well and, uh, and I think come the 6th of January both teams will be, will be ready for it. And overall, you're very happy with the way that the, especially the younger players, have progressed by the way you played this season against the best teams. You say some of the best teams in Europe. In Europe. Yeah, it's invaluable experience just now for the young ones. You know, to play for the Lorne Hemp's, the, the Amy Palmer's getting 15 minutes, Flo Allen's. Oh, 
you know, even what we class as our experienced players are still young players. You know, we've got a 21 year old captain. Carla Humphrey was turned 21 on Friday. Sophie Bagley was 21 the week before. So we've got a really young team, and and if we can keep the group together, we'll we'll continue to, to progress and develop. And you know, I'd I'd love to be able to keep this squad together and add one or two over the next couple of years. And and it'll be be interesting to see where we are at that point. A whole season of playing at this level, because we know what's coming now next season with the new Tier One system. Playing at this level for a season is going to be an invaluable experience for everyone, isn't it? And for yourself as manager as well. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be great uh, to get that that year and then going into the the new league, whatever that's got to look like. You know, we've got an idea of what it'll look like, but nothing's confirmed yet in terms of new teams coming in. Obviously, Brighton's one, so yeah, I think it's exciting times for the game. It's exciting times for the club. We're happy to be in it. We feel we, we should be in it. Uh, and, and depend on, on progressions off the pitch over the next few months. You know, it's, it's going to be a good place to be, I think.